So let's consider a unique contraption that combines our typical flux version of Faraday's law with our motional EMF concept. This contraption is called a rail slide. And you see, we have two rails, metal, so conductors, and they're connected at the end here. And then we have the slide, and this can move along the rails, sliding along to the left or to the right. So it's basically a fancy way to make a loop that changes area as the slide moves. And so you should be thinking of flux, changing area. If this rail slide were put into a magnetic field, then we can just move the slide to change the area and therefore changing the flux, creating an EMF. Another way to look at this rail slide is that the slide itself is just a conductor moving through a magnetic field, like our wire. It creates a motional or wire EMF as it moves. The fact that there are rails in place allows the induced EMF to produce a current in the rail slide assembly. So let's first analyze this with our flux knowledge. E equals negative N, the change in flux over the change in time. In this case, the N is 1. We effectively have one loop. Now, the change in flux, well, the change in flux, the change in BA, and we know that the B is constant, so let's move that out to the front. It's only the A that's changing. Now, let's look at the A a little closer. We know that the A is changing in a fairly predictable way. We know that A is length times width, and our length is constant, the same length as a slide or the wire, and so that leaves only the width as changing. So let's pull the L out, and we just have the change in flux is BL, the change in width. Now, considering the change in width, it's the same as the velocity of the slide times the time it has been moving, T. Putting this together, we have our EMF is negative BL, the velocity of the slide, the change in time over the change in time, and the times can cancel out. So our EMF equals, and we can remove the negative for now, and we'll focus on the direction later, BLV, and that should look familiar. It's the exact same formula that we would have used if we analyzed this rail slide using our motional EMF method. And yes, it's always comforting to confirm that our physics concepts are consistent and agreeing.